Wilson, and I've got one of my favorite kind of cards today, a shaker card. We're going to do the baby rattle for you. Here's what we're using in today's video. I've got some backing paper from the uh, Die Cuts with a View uh, Milky Patterns. I'm going to use the pink stripe there. Here is the baby rattle from our Fillables collection, and it's got the sentiment, and we're going to be using this little piece to create a little cute little border on the side. Done some uh, backing with the double stitched rectangles. And these are the small circular treat cups we'll be using. Okay. Pop all this to the side. And I think we'll start with the treat cup. And I'll just show you what I've put in here. So it's just a small, um, probably about two. It is the inside of that's an inch and three quarters. Okay, so I'm using some of the medium uh, micro beads. All right, just a little bit of these, and these actually are really good to put into your shaker cards because it kind of helps keep stuff from sticking. Um, some things you put in get a little bit staticky, so a few of these beads in there really will do the trick. Don't need much. Okay. And I'm going to be using some of our Snow White micro beads. And these come, they have a little liner on it. I've already taken that off. And I'm just going to put a little spoon of those in. Don't need much of that either. And just to give it a little bit of um, kind of a different look, I've got some of our iced flake. This is really pretty stuff. It's clear, but it's kind of um, hexagonal shaped. It's really, really lovely. So I'm just going to put a little spoonful of that in too. And all you need to do is take some of your Cosmic Shimmer glue around the edge. It's a nice little lip there for you. There. And I usually will take my finger and every once in a while you end up with a, one of the beads or something will pop up onto the lip. So you want to get that out of the way and make sure it's nice and flat. There we go. There we go. And you can pop a piece of acetate on there and just allow that to dry. Okay, so I've got one I prepared earlier and I've just trimmed around the acetate. Okay, so now we're going to cut a little aperture, go back to the rattle, and I've lined it up with a pencil mark where I want to cut it. Tape it into place. Give it a quick cut. go. Okay, so now I can pop this one through there and a little bit of single-sided tape catches on the lip of that. We'll hold that nice and secure. Do a couple pieces here. We're fairly close to the edge. So let me just see if I can make those smaller. There we go. And maybe one there and one there. That'll hold that into place nicely. Okay, so now what we want to do is take our rattle and I've cut it twice. I've got the uh, really pretty nice pale pink one done and I've got the backing one done. So I'm going to put these together and then I'll show you what we need to do with it. Line these up. So your little teeny hearts are already in this backing piece, but in order to get this backing piece, it's just a solid die. So what I want to do is cut that hole out in the center of the um, rattle bottom here. So a little bit more tape, pop that right across there. And we will feed that back through. There we go. And you can pop that right back out. Gently take off your tape. There we go. Don't forget to put that back onto your plate there. Okay, so here it is with the bottom cut out. Ah, what I've forgotten 
he has to cut the center out. So bring this little guy back in that you cut your aperture with and line it up right in the center of that stitched area. go. Gently remove that. Okay, so now I've got something I can put over my aperture and my treat cup. So let's, let's use a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer Glue on this. There we go. I'm going to pop that right over the top of that. Give it a second to set up. The bottom of the rattle will go into that corner there. Okay. And what I want to do is add a few pearls up in this top corner. So I'm just going to pop off a few of the white uh, five millimeter pearls here. Put those right in the corner. I've got the sentiment that actually will either fit behind the rattle or um, anywhere else you like it. And this just says uh, sweet bundle of joy. So I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue on that. We'll put that right down into the corner. Give that a second to set up. There we go. And a little bit of mounting foam. Should do the trick. Oh, no, I'll tell you what. Let's mount that directly to that so we'll get it nice and flat. You don't want to tape over the back of your treat cup because you'll be able to see through that. But all four sides and a little bit around there to keep it nice and snug should do the trick. There we go. So I'm going to put that up into this side, bringing in the little stripe pattern so it'll show through the treat cup there really nice. And I've got these two pieces done with the little scallopy bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put them into place here. I think I'll just use a little bit of glue. That should do the trick. A little bit on there and a bit on here. And I'm going to just pop them on the side like this. And then we'll take and double up the center one. There we go. Give that a second. And we've got to finish that off with a few more pearls. It's just crying out for pearls, I think. So these sections here are just perfect for that. There we go. And I think what this needs to finish it all off is just a tiny little bow. I've got a little bit of organza ribbon here. We'll just put a tiny little glue dot in the background and seat that right up here. How sweet is that? And then you've got your cute little shaker card. I think anybody would enjoy this. You have a friend that's got a new baby. This would be a perfect card to share. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, go to our YouTube channel. We have so many more videos there for you.